What's up everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thank you for watching. Well, I definitely got one more today. I freaking bought a Flying V. <laughs> so, um, I've never really been interested in Vs until recently. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I found these things fascinating. And, uh, you know, just like everything else right now, um, these are back ordered. Couldn't find any online, but I started looking around and found that the Guitar Center in Nashville had one. So, I just got back from driving up there to see if I would like this guitar. And, uh, here we are. I bought a new guitar. And I played it at the store. Freaking loved it. That's all I've done. So um, I'm really looking forward to diving into this thing a little bit. Uh, this video is not going to be a full deep dive. I'll do another video about that later. I'm not really prepared for that. But I just am so excited about getting this guitar that I just want to plug it in, play through it a little bit, and, uh, you know, give you my first impressions of what it's like when I actually, you know, get it to my house and can play it. So uh, let's just get right into this. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, before I start playing, let me check out what comes in the case. I haven't even looked at this myself yet. Saved it all for you guys and gals. All right, so cool. We get a nice Gibson strap. Uh, well, nice, maybe overstating it, but we get a Gibson strap. Looks decent. All right, next we get this bag of stuff here. Let's see, we'll look at that in a minute. Looks like we get a picture of our guitar at the factory. That's a nice touch, man. That's really awesome. I love that they do that. That's so cool. Get a little information about the guitar. Checklist. Cool. That's really awesome. Um, this case is pretty nice. Looks like it's made in Canada. See that there? Um, yeah not as pink as the Epiphone I opened recently. It's more of a red color, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can figure out what's in this bag. Okay, we get warranty information. Okay. Owner's manual. Nice Gibson microfiber cloth. Sweet. You can always use more of those. Oh, awesome. Heck yeah. Check out this little tool that they give you. That's awesome. It's got a bunch of Allen wrenches and screwdrivers, and it's got the uh, truss rod adjustment. That's really nice. This is the first new Gibson I've bought. I've only ever bought used Gibsons before, so I've never gotten all the case candy. That is a nice touch right there. I, I'm definitely going to use that. That's awesome. It says Gibson on the side, if you can see that. Wow. This has been a great experience so far. Okay. Well, I'm going to clean all this stuff up, and then uh, I'm going to plug this guitar in. Oh, we're back. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but new Gibsons smell like vanilla cake. Um guitar might be in danger. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, let's uh, see what this thing sounds like. Um, I'm just going to go through the pickups a little bit, um, just kind of get a sense of it. Like I said, this is going to be kind of a short video. Um, I just want to play through this a little bit and, you know, see what it's like. So let's check this out. I'm gonna put the overdrive back on and see how this pickup cleans up. All right, so we're wide open right now. If I roll the volume off just a little bit, a little more. Alright, so I think that cleans up pretty good. I'm not surprised. I've got these Burst Bucket pickups in that 59 uh, Epiphone, and I love them. So I knew that I was going to like this configuration. Um, I did kind of want to check it out, you know, in the Gibson, though. Um, okay, so that sounds pretty good. Let's roll it back up, and I'm going to take the tone down some and 
just kind of see what we got. Take the overdrive off. I'm really liking this guitar so far. One thing I'm going to mention too is you may notice I'm not wearing a strap. Um, I've got a strap. I just wanted to see how bad it was sitting without it for a little while. And I say that as each minute goes by, I'm getting more and more comfortable with it. I just kind of put my weight on this and bring it up and it's fine. All right, put the tone back up. I'm going to go to the middle position here and see what this sounds like. Throw a little while in here just for fun. <laughs> Man, I'm having some fun, boys. This is cool. This is really cool. Loving it, loving it. All right, let's hit the bridge real quick and then uh, let's get on out of here. Let's see, what we, what we wanna do? Ah, man, I love it. All right, let's put some different overdrive on it. Whoo, man. 
I'm loving this thing. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but this is really fun. Okay. Let's do something else. I think that'll about do it for today. Um, I'm just kind of screwing around here, but I'm having a lot of fun and I'm really loving this thing. Um, it's a little awkward to hold at first, you know, and I know if I have a strap, this will be a lot better, but I wanted to see what it was like to try to get through this video with no strap. So I'll say that I like holding it like this the best. Um, I tried it like this. Um, I don't know, I don't play classical style and this just seems up really high. I mean, I could probably get away with that, but. Um, I prefer holding it like this if I don't have a strap. Um, I can put my arm on it and kind of keep it balanced here with no problems. I also tried it Dave Davies style where I put my arm through the wing here. Um, I have to say, I don't really love that either. I'm not sure how he did that. I mean, he must have, you know, standing up, playing like this, maybe. If it was really high up on your chest, maybe. Um, I'm actually curious if he was really playing it like that or if he just did that because they were miming the songs on the videos where he had that guitar. And maybe he was just goofing around. I really don't know. Maybe he played it that way, but that seems kind of awkward to me. So yeah, anyway, not a huge fan of playing it like this. Um, so with no strap, I definitely think you can get used to this. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I really do appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, thank you for coming and hanging out with me and watching me check out this awesome-ass Flying V. Uh, I'm in love with it. I really am. It feels great. It smells great. It's good weight. It's great. So keep an eye out. I'll post a video where I do a full deep dive, go over all the specs, pull the pickups, you know, just kind of look over the thing. But uh, until next time, take it easy and keep playing.